welcome back to my channel today we're going to be reviewing broadway colors from the dollar general um emily noel said that best these are hidden gems of the dollar general and that they are i cannot wait to get into the review we're going to be reviewing three eyeshadow palettes two mascaras five lipsticks and one blush palette let's get started first up we're going to be reviewing the lipsticks and these are three dollars each they are the true matte lipsticks there's 18 shades in this line to choose from and they range from neutral shades to really bright bold beautiful shades the shades that i have are nude rose which is just an everyday kind of natural nude shade lemon pie is just a bright reddish pink happy hour is a matte basic brown blackest black is a true black lipstick and tgif is a nice beautiful mauve shade now these are all smooth creamy they're not patchy lipsticks they don't have any weird taste or smells like some cheaper lipsticks do these mattes are not drying on your lips which is always a nice thing and especially for three dollars each you cannot beat that they're not drying at all um these lipsticks also are not long wearing this is the only bad thing i can say about them i absolutely love them because they're nice and smooth and creamy um and very pigmented but these lipsticks are not long wearing like as soon as you apply them and then you start eating drinking they start removing from your lips and I would just suggest packing your shade in your purse and reapplying when necessary um, and yeah that's about all for the lipsticks Next up, we have the blush palette. These are $5 each. There is two in the line to choose from. There is a spring palette, which is more muted down colors. And there is this summer palette, which is more brighter. I like the packaging. I like the white sleekness. I love the dots on their packaging. And I love that it opens like that very easily. You get a nice shimmery highlight here. It's a, of the champagne shade. You get a warm pink blush that has golden sparkly shimmers in there and it's not an overspray it does go all the way in there so you get two shimmery shades and two mattes um that shade reminds me of ellie colors blush and spice very beautiful you get a peachy coral shade here and you get a warm pink kind of dusty rose shade there so in both palettes you get three blushes and one highlight and the highlight shade is very nice and it will make you glow for days these are slightly powdery but they are very pigmented these blushes stay bright and beautiful on your cheeks all day long i had no fading there's no patchiness in them and i would recommend using a light hand when applying these blushes because they can become very overpowering very quickly yes so use a light hand they are very pigmented uh, there's not really anything bad that I can say about them next up we're going to be talking about the mascaras the mascaras as a whole they are four dollars each there is six different ones to choose from they're all in the shades black you have three regular mascaras and three waterproof mascaras to choose from i love the beautiful colorful packaging it's so nice and fun and we're going to jump right into talking about the curling mascara. It's in this pretty purple packaging. It's got them beautiful little dots there. It has a curved brush, as you can tell. And this is not a super wet mascara formula. It's slightly wetter than the um, defining mascara, but really that's neither here nor there. So it's not very wet. Uh, I do like that curved brush. The packaging does say it gives you curled lashes without um, a curler and false lash appearance i will say that uh it does curl your lashes it does give you some extra length 
and it does look really good like it it does make you look like you just have what I would describe as like a natural look on your lashes not so much false lash look but very natural look um, there was a bit of flaking towards the end of the day with this particular mascara it wasn't too awful though and this mascara also separates the lashes okay it's not anything to write home to mom about um, it's just okay and if you overdo it you know with a couple coats they're gonna start getting clumped together and you're gonna get that spider lash effect if you like that that's fine that's your thing but um, overall though this was a good mascara I do like the formula of these next we have the defining mascara um, this particular mascara is um, like I said it's not as wet as the curling mascara this mascara does a great job at separating and lengthening your lashes like the packaging suggests that it creates these tubes on your lashes to give you this appearance of longer lashes as well as the false lash appearance um, and I believe it does a great job at that and this particular one has a rubber brush so if you like the rubber brush I definitely recommend trying this one as well and once again the formula is just really nice and this claims to be a smudge proof formula and I would say that it definitely holds up kind of to its name because I wore this over 10 hours and there was no flaking and no smudging if you can believe that and I have pictures to prove it um, this mascara is great I love the length that it gives me and the separation and yes overall I do really enjoy this mascara lastly we're going to be talking about the Broadway eyeshadow kits there is four to choose from they're three dollars each and if you're lucky like I got lucky and I got mine for two dollars each because my Dollar General had a press break on them which is pretty awesome and uh, these little kits have a variety of matte and shimmery shades in them and Metis here has a ton of gorgeous metallic shades actually and I love for the fact that you know you have like a neutral palette you have a cool tones kind of palette you have a bright colorful palette and they also have like a smoky palette and they all have unique colors to their palettes so you could get away with owning all of them if you'd like and I know eventually I probably will own the last one um, they all have Greek goddess themed names, which I think is pretty cool. Hera, Aphrodite, and Metis. And I don't remember the other's name. Um, these eyeshadows last all day without creasing. Now, I always wear a primer, so that helps a lot. Um, they don't crease. They don't fade. I have a picture to prove that um, they literally last 10 hours and they look like as if you just applied them especially Metis here um, awesome uh, they are just as bright and vibrant as if you just applied them I just I can't get over that it's, it's just awesome they're all really nicely pigmented shadows and I can't believe they were just three dollars each now some downside to these palettes are there is some major fallout with these unfortunately um, because some of the shades are powdery but you know what are you gonna do uh, a lot of times with cheaper eyeshadows anyways in general there is fallout and even with some high-end brands there's fallout uh, so I would just suggest before you apply the eyeshadow apply a powder under your eye to catch said fallout um, also some of the matte shades in the palettes are a little bit chalky but that doesn't bother me either and lastly I want to touch base on these as a whole uh, for the best color payoff for your shimmery and your metallic shades in these palettes you need to be patting them onto your base onto your lid avoid sweeping the shimmery and the metallic shades because you're going to get the best color vibrancy from patting them not sweeping well, uh, that's about all and let's jump into talking about them individually. The first palette I'm going to talk about is Hera. And um, 
this is their what I would consider a neutrals palette an everyday kind of palette just designated for anybody afraid of color or that just really enjoys just those natural looks if you're a fan of the naked palette I would think that you probably would like this palette as well and I love that all the palettes actually have Greek goddess themed names that's a really nice theme going on there and um, you have a variety of matte shades and shimmery shades in this one and there's like one true like metallic -y shade in here but you I want to point out these really nice mattes you get this creamy highlight shade a cool peach tone for your crease you get a coffee bean matte and a black matte in this one they're just so pretty Next up, we have Aphrodite, and this is their Topes and Cool Plums palette. This is another palette that I believe would be great for an everyday looks, especially really beautiful for those everyday looks in the winter. Matte highlights here, you get crease mattes, outer corner mattes and of course the random shimmeries and there might be a couple satin finishes in this palette as well overall this is very beautiful and very feminine palette of the four lastly we're going to talk about metis which is my personal favorite and this is the one with all the bright pretty fun colors and metallic shades that are absolutely amazing and once again you get that matte highlight there you get a couple shades down here that are kind of satiny you get a lot of metallic shades and a couple shimmeries as well but the metallic shades in this really really stand out they're amazing especially for dollar store quality you have to try this one I just absolutely love those three down here and for green eyes these shades here beautiful beautiful this actually would work for any eye color but I think that I get lots of beautiful looks using this and I, they always make my green eyes pop and even this purple here has kind of a red undertone it's so gorgeous and my mo this is obviously my most used palette you can tell this one has a dent in it my gold looks kind of weird and that's because I've dearly loved this for the past two months and that's about all that I have to say about those As a closing note, I want to leave you with a few recommendations of all the products that we reviewed. I highly recommend checking out at least one of their blush palettes, Eyeshadow Kit and Metis, Nude Rose and TGIF, and the Defining Mascara. And that's as in closing. Um, I highly recommend these products here. And I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. If you have any other additional comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the little bell so you don't miss any other upcoming videos from me. And thank you guys for watching.